Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to brew just a cup of coffee with this Keurig K Cafe. So this thing's a very capable machine. It does uh, cappuccinos and lattes really well. But today we're just going to concentrate on the coffee button. So we've got a coffee button here. We've got 6 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce. We've even got this strong light. So I've got all these different K cups and we're going to explore how some of them taste, how, how you should brew them and different things like that. So how do you just brew a basic coffee with a Keurig K Classic? Now this kind of holds true for other Keurig machines. So, but I'm gonna do it just for the K Classic right now, or the K Cafe. Okay, so again, here we have our machine and we've got the coffee button and six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce. So mainly we're gonna be using the six and the eight ounce. I've done a lot of research online. Six ounce seems to be the preferred setting for just a standard cup of coffee with a K cup. It's not much of a, it's not a big quantity of coffee, but that's about what a K cup can handle. So let's go over. So some of, so you should read the directions on these. So this is a Starbucks 2X caffeine. These have got really good reviews, but you would think there'd be directions. Now, this one actually does have directions and it says eight ounce setting. Use the eight ounce setting on your brewer. So that tells me that they've kind of uh, gone over this coffee, this K cup, and it's going to be okay for eight ounces. Now, typically K cups on them don't say anything other than how to, you know, just to recycle and what they are. They don't say, they don't, it's eight ounce, six ounce, you know, nothing, nothing's real obvious. So I wish all of them gave it a setting. So here we have the Starbucks breakfast blend. And again, eight ounce setting. Death wish. This got really good reviews on Amazon. Uh, nowhere on the box does it say what setting to put it on. You know, I guess they're just kind of expecting you to, to play around with it. I would go between six and eight, maybe up to 10, but it's pretty watered down once you get up to 10. Even Folgers. I went to the Folgers website on their on their uh, Keurig K cups, and it just says pick the pick select the size you want. Well, yeah, but what size is good? And nowhere on the K cup does it say. Again, nowhere in the directions does it say. Hey, six. Choose the six ounce. Choose the eight ounce. And I could just go on and on and on. Even the McDonald's. Nothing. So here we have great value, extra cafe or extra ground, 1.7x more ca caffeine than an eight fluid ounce of brewed coffee. So maybe they're wanting you to do the eight fluid ounces, but on the back here, it doesn't tell you eight to use the eight. So, okay, so here we have six fluid ounces. I'm going to pour this into a coffee. So. Everybody's always curious about these markings on the side of a coffee pot. You know, they're not really true cups, but like this is a 10 cup coffee pot. So that is barely going up to maybe the two cup mark. Okay, so I had to put in uh, three, three six ounces. So I put 18 ounces into this to do the math. It went up to the four mark. So when you're doing a six ounce, when you're doing six ounces, um, you're basically doing about one, maybe 1 1.5, 1.25 of an actual, like the old time coffee pot cups. Okay, so let's talk coffee cups real quick. So this is maybe a little bit big, but you know, standard coffee cups nowadays are, are bigger than maybe they were back in the old days. But let's just see. So I've got this filled up. This is just a coffee pot. I've got it filled up to the tin line. So let's pour it in, yeah, right about there would be a nice cup of coffee. Where does that leave it? Two. So that used basically, so this is basically like two cups of coffee per an old coffee pot. And then let's just see how many ounces that is. So that's about 10 ounces. So this is just a normal Folgers uh, ground coffee for using in a coffee pot. And if you look at the back of it, 
So one serving equals one tablespoon of Folgers coffee. And it says it's six, one serving is six fluid ounces. So yeah, my math was pretty close on um, six ounces out of a Keurig is pretty much the same as an old time uh, coffee pot, one cup. So here's the funny thing. I've got a K-cup, so you'd expect there to be one tablespoon in here. We said six ounces. We, we would normally do these at six ounces, maybe eight ounces. So we'd expect uh, maybe just a little over one tablespoon of coffee. But let's cut it open. Okay, so let's see how many tablespoons of coffee are in a K-cup. That might be a little more than one. Okay, two. There are two tablespoons of coffee in a K cup. So in theory, it should be able to do should be able to do 12 ounces. But let's see how it tastes. And just as a gee whiz, so this was the coffee out of the espresso cup. And here's just some Folgers. Same, same brand, same everything. This is just out of a, a can or a plastic container. And there's the Folgers K cup over here. So this is ground a lot finer. That's pretty, it's not as fine. So let's do some experimenting with this. This is Walmart's number one selling uh, K-Cup. It's their brand. Again, the directions just say load the K-Cup and press whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the machine. We've got plenty of water in the reservoir. I've got the power on, so it should be heated up on the inside. We're gonna lift the button, take out the old K-Cup. There's the handle. We're going to move here. These are both flashing. We're just going to hit the coffee button. And now it allows us to, we can do 6 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce. And we can even do strong. If I do strong, we'll do strong later. But let's do a 6 ounce first. There's the 6 and the K. Let's check temperature. So about one, see that's about that's the same as a coffee pot. My coffee pots that I've been reviewing, they put out about one. That's pretty hot, 165, 168. So yeah, that's pretty good. So you can see six fluid ounces. It, that, that's quite a bit of coffee. But is it going to be very strong? Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty strong tasting cup of coffee. Let's go up to uh, eight fluid ounces. Okay, so I've got my another K cup in there. We're gonna press coffee, eight ounce, and brew. You can see towards the end of the brewing process, it does get a little lighter the color of the water and they do recommend that you stir these because you do get kind of the, the more flavor at the bottom and at the end it's not as much coffee taste again yeah 170 yeah that's a really hot cup of coffee So it's hard for me to taste the difference between these two. You know, they look about the same. This is six ounce, eight ounce. You know, try it on the eight ounce and, and see how it tastes to you. If it tastes okay, that, that's quite a bit of coffee. Um, let's see how it looks in this Starbucks cup that I was using earlier. So yeah, that's about what we were thinking would be a good cup of coffee, right about that amount. Okay, so I've got a new K cup in. We're gonna do coffee and 10 ounce.
Again, really, really hot cup of coffee. Seem to get hotter the more liquid you put in. Okay, so there's a full, but unfortunately, I have done a taste test in the past, and when you start getting up into the 10 ounce, it is it is a little bit watered down. Um, but you do, that is the 10 ounce setting. So you again, you can try it and see what you think. If you if you if you like the 10 ounce setting, you know that's a pretty good uh, cup of coffee. Okay, I got another K cup in there. We're gonna press coffee, 12 ounce, and brew it. Again, make sure you got a big enough cup to hold it. Now this thing should be able to do 12 ounces because it's got two tablespoons of coffee. And that's the ratio that a normal coffee maker uses. It uses one tablespoon per six ounces you brew, which is the old fashioned one cup. And that's the yeah, that's standard, that's actually a pretty warm cup of coffee. If you couldn't see it, yeah, it's about one. I saw 175, but you can see towards the end, you're going to get a lot of of really clear liquid coming through the K cup. I don't know if the video shows, but this might start to be just a little bit of a lighter cup of coffee than over here. This is our six ounce, eight ounce. 10 ounce and a 12 ounce. And again, I've done a taste test. To me, these do, this is weaker than a normal pot of coffee at, at one tablespoon per ounce. Okay, one last thing. We'll do the strong. I just want to show you what the strong does. And I've got another video on recycling K cups. If you want to check that out, I do recycle my K cups. Okay, so I've got the K cup in. We're gonna press the coffee button, the strong button, and it lights up after you press it. Let's just do an eight ounce. Oh, we gotta press the K button. And I just wanna show you that it does brew a little different. It kind of starts and stops, if I remember. It's a slower brew. Temperature is still about the same. So it just takes a little bit longer, not much longer, because these things brew really fast anyway. I can't, I've done taste tests in the past, I can't tell if the brew is actually stronger or not. When I do a strong brew, I really can't taste the difference. You know, about the same, 170, 169, so the temperature is the same. You know, what did that take? Maybe 10, 15 seconds longer. So that was a strong eight ounce. So again, this is just a dad. I hope this demonstration helped. It holds true for all these K cups. Um, and you know, I honestly think they just give you the option up here. At first I was like, why do they give you so many options and different things? And sometimes the 10 and 12 ounces, or if you do different like teas or hot chocolates, you need the more fluid ounces, but just for regular coffee, I think they give them to you so you have the option. You know, if if, we, if it was just a six ounce, people would be like, oh, it's too strong. If it was just a 10 ounce, people would be like, oh, it's too weak. So it's actually kind of a nice thing that they do give you these options. It can be a little confusing, but at least you're able to say, okay, th that time on the 10 ounce, it was too weak. I can go down one. So I think it's really nice that they give you the option of all those different sizes. And... Just play around with it, experiment, see what you like. And I hope this video helps. If you could, leave your comments. Or if you have any questions, if you have any questions about these different K-Cups, 
I'm going to be doing um, some taste tests on all these different K-Cups. So again, my channel, I'm going to be doing uh, this Keurig K-Cafe. I really like it. I'm going to be doing a lot of different drinks with it. I'm doing all kinds of lattes and cappuccinos with the froth because that's when you use the frother side. And just a real quick note, so when you do a when you do a latte or a cappuccino and you, you do the shot side, it's only um, two ounces. So you just run two ounces through a K-cup, so you don't get hardly anything. So if you want a really, really strong shot of coffee, just hit the latte button and the K button, and you'll get two ounces run through a, a normal coffee K-cup, and it's really, really strong. So again, this is Just a Dad. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.